actually remember to shave for this video. Okay, so in this video I'm going to talk about the top five hardest classes in computer engineering at Clemson University. I know this is probably something that a lot of potential computer engineering majors are curious about, so I thought I'd do the video, and it seems like an interesting topic to discuss too. But um, with such a topic that's like kind of controversial, I think I need to make a couple disclaimers real quick. Number one is that the top five hardest classes for me are going to be very different than the hardest classes for you. I think that needs to, to go without saying. Um, what's hard for me is going to be different for everybody else. Um, I kind of compiled this list based on my own personal experiences as well as other computer engineers and electrical engineers I've talked to. And that leads me to my second disclaimer is that this is the top five hardest classes in computer engineering. Even though computer and electrical engineering are similar, they are not the same. There are a couple classes that are different. So electrical engineering classes are going to be excluded from this list. The classes that are only for electrical engineers. Um, those are going to be excluded from this list. My final disclaimer is that I'm going to be leaving out any um, any targets that are kind of not really relevant, like freshman introductory classes, like your chemistry and your physics. Those aren't really computer engineering classes. Those are core classes that everybody has to take. So I'm not going to be including any of those because they're not computer engineering classes. They're general classes. One last thing before I actually get to the list is that the top five is not really in a particular order. It's just kind of the top five in general. Um, some might be a little bit harder than others, but it's really kind of hard to gauge that. So this is just the top five, not really in a particular order, but kind of just kind of depending on my personal experience. So with that in mind, I think um, we can get into our top five hardest classes for computer engineers at Clemson University. So for number five, the fifth hardest class in computer engineering, in my opinion, is ECE 2230. It's called Computer Systems Engineering. I don't know why it's called that, because it's not systems engineering in the business world. It's, it's called Algorithms and Data Structures is what it teaches. So this is a, potentially your second last C class. In this class, you kind of are done with your introduction to C. Like you've kind of at this point learned the basics of the C programming language. This class is kind of what takes you and kind of expands on that to take the basics of what you've learned and make it into data structures, which is kind of the fundamental makeup of C and a lot of other programming languages, actually. Um, the biggest things that you learn in this are the struct, how to use structs, actually. Um, and um, that's really important for doing um, linked lists. Linked lists are basically kind of like an array of storing things. And that's actually really useful in another class that will be on this list, actually. Um, we did things like trees, uh, the stack, queues, those kind of things, and we had to do projects based on those. It's kind of hard because it's a class that a lot of people have to retake. Um, it's because it's really a jump up from what you've been doing before. And of course, it's a junior level class. Most of these are junior level courses, by the way. Um, that's just so that's just the nature of the beast. So that's number five is going to be uh, 2230 algorithms and data structures. Number four is going to be ECE 3200, Electronics 1. So Electronics deals kind of, you know, you you finished your Circuits 1 and Circuits 2, so you know how circuits work. It's taking that and kind of building upon it. You know, not only are you using um, resistors and voltage sources anymore, now you're taking it higher with diodes and transistors and, you know, more complex things to, to put into a circuit. It actually is the only class that I remember that used any chemistry, because doping does involve chemistry, because you have to know how electrons move and everything like that. Um, uh, electronics 1, both computer and electrical engineers have to take. Uh, electronics 2 is required for electrical engineering majors. Computer engineers can take Electronics 2 uh, as a tech elective, so keep that in mind. But it really just feels like it's a class that's intended more for electrical engineering majors, not really computer engineering, because it it's a class that builds into another more electrical engineering class, so it's not something that computer engineers necessarily are going to be, you know, keen on being able to figure out. But if you're a computer engineer who has kind of more of a hardware mindset, and you know, you're not only based on the software, uh, it's actually not too bad. It's actually a class that's kind of polarizing. You know, some of the more software-oriented computer engineers do worse. Some of the more hardware-oriented ones do better. Um, I had to retake it. It's actually one of the two classes I had to retake. Uh, but the second time I did it, I got an A. So, you know, I, I learned from my mistakes. But really, you need to have a good handle on your math. You need to know your formulas. And, you know, and be able to... One of the, the things that really got me the first time I took it was you need to call back to your circuits classes and really pay attention in them. Because... 
the problems that you do are really going to revolve around being able to read circuits. You really need to know what's happening in a circuit. You need to know what where the current is traveling. You need to keep track of how much current is where. You need to keep track of your voltage sources. It's a lot to keep track of, but really you need to have a very good foundation in being able to read circuit diagrams and to tell what's going on. So number three and number two kind of were tied for me on this list because I, I, they're, they're both really hard classes, some of the hardest in the major. So number three is going to be a computer engineering only class. Number two is something computer and electrical have to take. So that was kind of the tiebreaker for me is just, you know, more people have to take number two. So that one is going to be uh, a little bit worse. But uh, let's do number three. So number three is ECE 3270 Digital Computer Design. Um, this class I actually really enjoyed. It's probably one of my favorite classes and it's probably one of the most important classes I took but it is a really hard class. Computer engineers will tell you it's probably their hardest class or second hardest depending on who you are. Um, I can see where that's coming from. The tests were really hard, but basically in this class, it's kind of building on doing what you did in discrete math. It takes some of those uh, fundamental principles of being able to look at truth tables. And then you also have to call back to your logic class where you learn about computer logic and how that works. It is a very, very logic-heavy class. So if you're good at computer logic, it's going to be a pretty easy class for you. If you're not, and a lot of people aren't, it's going to really, really kick your butt. And that's just on, like, the lecture side and, like, the test side. There's a whole other half of the class, which is learning VHDL and being able to do projects based on that. It's actually the what really, really got me interested in hardware design was learning this VHDL because basically what it is is a programming language that allows you to simulate hardware. You design things like registers, multiplexers, um, and on those you have to make a certain uh, a bus that has a certain bandwidth and be able to process instruction sets. One of my most, the proudest moments in, in my college career was when I used VHDL to design my own 16-bit processor and it was able to process four whole instructions, imagine that. Um, so yeah, it was a, it, it um, was able to carry, um, I think, four different 8-bit eight, eight set instructions, I'm not sure. But um, it was really, really cool how I got that working because you have to design so many number of registers to hold all of your data. Uh, you have to make sure that every component is able to handle an 8-bit bus full of instructions. Um, that's a really hard part. And you really do need to have a good understanding of VHDL. And it's hard for a lot of people, so they end up struggling in that class. So it's a very tough class. But I will say that if you are interested in hardware design, it's a very important class, one that you really, really need to pay attention in. And um, yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. So it is a hard class, but depending on what your interest is in, it's very, very rewarding. My number two hardest class is ECE 3300, Signals, Systems, and Transforms. This is probably gonna be pretty uncontroversial. Um, a lot of computer and electrical engineering majors are gonna tell you that this is the hardest class in the major. I don't think that's really far off, actually, because it is a hard class. What makes this class hard is kind of two things. Uh, the first thing is that this is not material that you've seen before. You have not done anything like this before. And it's in your first semester of junior year, so you've, t you've been through two years so far and you've never seen material like this before. You're learning about uh, how signals can vary in time domain versus uh, continuous time domain versus discrete time domain. Um, you talk about Fourier transforms. There's a segment in the class where we started talking about uh, a few different types of filters, low pass, high pass, Butterworth filters, and it's basically preparing you for upper level communications and signal processing classes, if that is emphasis that you really want to uh, pursue later on down the road. Um, which I actually ended up doing. I actually ended up taking some classes based off that. The problem with this class is that it is really, really math heavy. The way it's taught is really not so much on the conceptual side, it's really kind of like a math class. It's taking math, specifically calculus, and applying it in different ways um, in communications. That goes for a lot of ECE classes, is if you're not really well versed in calculus, you're gonna do bad. It's actually one of the reasons why I wanted to do more classes in communications is because math is my background. It's what I'm really good at. So being able to use calculus in these courses actually wasn't too bad for me. Um, so yeah, it's the second class. I told you I had to retake electronics. This was the second class that I had to retake. A lot of people have to retake this class. I think it has about something like a, is it a, between a third and a half of the people who take it have to retake it. It's a really, really tough class. And it's just your first semester in junior year. So that's really hard. So between having to do a lot of calculus and apply it 
and not having ever seen this information before in the two previous years you've been at school, it's a really hard class. Um, so, yeah, a lot of people will tell you it's, it's really hard. Really hard to get an A in it, too. I ended up getting a B the second time. So, yeah. Signal systems and transforms is going to be number two. And finally, we get to number one. Number one is probably going to be pretty uh, hotly contested. This is for me. This is just my personal number one. Um, this is not really taking other people's considerations into mind. It's just the one that really gave me the most trouble when I took it. Number one is going to be ECE 3220, Introduction to Operating Systems. This is a tough class. It teaches you about the basics of operating systems and operating structures, basically. It, um, we delve a lot into uh, things like processes and threads, mutex locks. At the end, it actually kind of got interesting because we started talking about storage and different types of RAID arrays and being able to, to comb through. Um, we had to write a project for, you know, it was our final project, actually. We had to write a program that would comb through the fat storage and actually extract a hidden message out of it. So that's actually kind of cool. So it's actually a very interesting class, and the concepts that you learn are really cool. My problem is that, first of all, it's in C, and I hate C. I really hate C. Yeah, I'm not a good C programmer, so that's kind of a, a, a shame because I'm computer engineering. But um, the biggest issue is that this is ECE 3220, which means electrical and computer engineering. It's, a, it's supposed to be a class taught in the electrical and computer engineering department. Here's the problem. Computer science also has Computer Science 3220, Introduction to Operating Systems, and both of the majors have to take the class at the same time. You see where I'm going with this. So it's basically half the class is computer engineers, half the class is computer science students. Actually, it's, it's more about a third and two thirds because computer science is a much bigger major than computer engineering. But basically, you have to take the class alongside computer science students, and the biggest issue here is the way that computer science students learn to program and the way that computer engineering students learn to program is completely different because the classes we've taken up until that point come from two different departments. So when you have computer science guys coming from the comp sci department and electrical or computer engineering guys coming from the computer engineering department, well, now all of a sudden you have to make them take a class together. It's going to be kind of a, a shit show, and it really was. Um, it's a lot harder for computer engineers than computer science students because, well, actually the class is taught by a computer science professor, so. But um, the, the biggest issue is that when you learn these concepts, they make sense on paper, but then you have to write programs for demonstrating them. Like, we had to write something that would be able to identify processes and threads and grab them and be able to, like, block them and continue them and things like that. But even though you know how to do that on paper and it makes sense in theory, Doing it in C is the hard part, and that's where I really struggled, is, okay, I understand what you're saying on the whiteboard, how does that translate into C code? And that was really my, my biggest issue, and that's why I had so much trouble in that class. I ended up getting through it, but it was an endurance, it was really hard. It's actually taught by several different professors, all of them are in the computer science department. So, in my opinion, I really think that that's a disadvantage is computer engineering majors taking that class with computer science students taught by computer science professors who don't know how we learn how programming works. I think that that's really kind of a disadvantage of the class. So uh, for me, it was probably the one that I banged my head against the wall the most. So I'm gonna go with operating systems as the hardest class in computer engineering. So that is my top five list. That's the five hardest classes in computer engineering, in my opinion. Uh, obviously, uh, different people are going to have different opinions. Um, I'm actually kind of curious uh, what an electrical engineering top five looks like, because they obviously take much different classes than we do. Um, so, yeah. But um, anyway, I uh, hope this was informative and kind of gives you an idea of, uh, you know, kind of what you can be expecting. Again, uh, these were the hardest for me and for a lot of other people, but uh, that does not guarantee that they're going to be hard for you. Um, make sure that you kind of, you know, ask around and be able to get help when you need it, because we do have a tutoring for a lot of these classes, so just keep that in mind. Um, uh, but yeah, uh, this kind of was kind of a preview of another video I'll be doing, uh, kind of towards the end, I'm in my senior year right now, but uh, towards the end of it, I'm going to be doing a video where I go over the entire computer engineering curriculum and kind of tell you what each class is about and, uh, you know, all the way from freshman to senior year and everything in between. So hopefully that'll be fun. Um, so if you like the video, please leave a like. Um, subscribe if you want to see more. And uh, other than that, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.